Alright guys, welcome back to another video of C Sharp versus Java. In this video, I'm going to be showing you something that I enjoy in Java that C Sharp just doesn't really have, or it does have, I know that there is, but it's just so much more complicated. So, let's just run this C Sharp program first with the run.bat. So as you can see, there's console there, and there's a button here. So, when I press this button, I want it to output on the console but there's nothing that happens and it's just something that I wish was a feature that you didn't have to import so many other things like you have to import a couple of DLL, DLLs and some other stuff in order for this to work and once you do that though it does work but it's just so much nicer in my opinion that Java has it kind of built in. Uh, I'm going to show you guys an example. So let's just run this program. So console output, output console. There's a button here and when I press it, it outputs it to the console. And if I were to run it with a run.bat, it too would output in an actual console. I just wanted to do this because it's easy and it works this way. Um, so as you can see, it's a pretty small program too. It's pretty extensive. Um, it's not, well, the C-sharp version, if you were to do it in C-sharp, would be pretty long, longer than this too, because of uh, how many classes there are to the C-sharp GUI uh, Windows form application template. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching this episode of C-sharp versus Java. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and like the series if you like it. And goodbye.